one can hardly dispute the fact that the most ardent users of social media in Uganda and the world over are mostly the youths. And while many Ugandans have taken to expressing their frustrations over the new social media tax, the youths seem to be particularly hit by this new expense. At Chambugu University, we found Christopher Sali, a telecom engineering student, trying to help his fellow students to find ways to bypass having to pay the new tax. Sali and his friends say social media is a tool of communication used by lecturers at the university, and the introduction of the tax will affect many students who cannot afford to pay the daily rate. Since yesterday, of course, there has been a very big reduction in the number of social media usage. And I, I just wish that if it was possible, I could move around telling people how to go about this thing. And, and actually, even coordinators also use that WhatsApp to communicate, to tell you there is a lecture today, no lecture, there is, there is, there is any okay, lecture, a lecture which has not been in plan, but it has just been brought at that time. Other students also expressed their frustration over the new social media tax, claiming that it will affect their studies. The government is now violating our right to access information. They are selling us information. We find it as a challenge to really communicate with our fellows because of this tax. The mood was no different among the mobile agents. Shilan Thiano, who operates a mobile business in Naguru, says the majority of her clients were also frustrated with the new taxes on both social media and mobile money. The experience has really not been good because the population does not know, they do not have any more knowledge about the tax, they were not uh, briefed about it. She says most affected people were foreigners who are ignorant about the new changes and charges. Because these foreigners only use their lines for talk time and uh, calling their people abroad. So when it comes to purchasing of this social tax using mobile money, it is difficult for them. Civil Side Budget Advocates Group, Executive Director Julius Mukunda, also says the frustration shown by social media users is an indication that the tax may not achieve its intention and it might be dropped after a few months. For me, is that I think this tax, this kind of a draconian tax proposal law that is in place, is a wake up call for Ugandans. That which kind of MPs do we take to, the, to, to Parliament? Which people go to Parliament and what do they discuss on our. Mukunda further notes that the move is likely to adversely affect the economy. Tax proposal is self defeating. We would not realize the benefits that we intended to get out of it. Rather, it's going to hurt the people. Telecom companies have also issued a joint procedures to be followed by customers in paying the new taxes via mobile money. With them, ten customers use mobile money by dialing star 165, star 2, star 8 ash. And for Airtel, using Airtel money, dial star 185, star 2, star 5 ash. And Africel, 144, star 2, star 5 ash. Access will be granted for a calendar day from the moment of payment until 11.59 p.m. of that same day. For the convenience of customers, can go for a daily tax of 200 shillings, weekly of 1,400 shillings, and for a month, 6,000. This translates to 73,000 shillings annually for a daily social media access. It is also estimated that government will be able to collect over 500 billion shillings every year from the tax. Ivan Chimuchigozi, NTV.